Me too. Early morning drive, uh, very early. You woke up at uh, something like six, six thirty. I was the first one to wake up. Really? Yes. Yeah. And um, so we're on the road by seven thirty. This was the day Sean drank his uh, raw milk. <laughs> yeah. Coffee. Yep. Uh, Harris. The venue. So we ended up at Clarence Center, or what was it called? Clarence, Clarence Center Coffee House. Mm-hmm. The keeper of the house. <laughs> Sean. There's the flyer in the in the bathroom where everyone does their reading. Yes. <laughs> and here's a song. Um, wasn't quite sure what to play, being that I had only very little sleep and I wasn't sure if I'd stay awake. So I played a nice little. Yes. And you <laughs> played all traditional, mostly none, mostly none of my songs, just all traditional folk songs that you can hear in a pre-K. <laughs> For the most part. It's pre-K. Like pre-kindergarten. That's what I thought you were <laughs> Like songs you sing to children. The woman at the coffee shop said it's two houses down and it was actually about like at least three quarters of a mile. <laughs> Gina's best friend came and surprised her. Right, this was when that happened. Buffalo. Buffalo. Yeah. It was, it was like an hour sure. away or something, or we no, already in Buffalo. That far. And then that was dinner. And then dinner with Stefana, that's my best friend who came that to was surprise us. And the lovely Rachel Umi. and Umi. Umi. Very sweet. And we went to get beers. Essentials. And... It's as close as we got to hot wings. Yeah. No, that's not true. We actually had hot Is that wings the at end? dinner. <laughs> Did we? Yeah. Did it just stop? I, don't, I thought we.